In this video, I will discuss the zygomatic bone in detail. Zygomatic bone is a paired facial bone. This is one zygomatic bone and this is the other zygomatic bone. Zygomatic bone is situated at the upper and lateral part of the face forming the prominence of the cheek. This is the individual zygomatic bone with the interior view, lateral view, posterior view, medial view, the inferior view and the superior view. Individual zygomatic bone is diamond shape having three surfaces, three processes and five borders. The three surfaces are the outer surface, the orbital surface and the posterior surface. Now in complete skull model, this is the outer surface, this is the orbital surface and this is the posterior surface. And the three processes are the frontal process, temporal process and the maxillary process. Now in complete skull model, this is the frontal process, this is the temporal process and this is the maxillary process. Now the five borders of the zygomatic bone are more clear when we get to the lateral view. Since this is the lateral view, this is the interior side and this is the posterior side. And of course that will be the superior side and the inferior side. So this border is the interior superior border and this will be the posterior superior border. This border will become the interior inferior border and this will be the posterior inferior border. Now the fifth border will be more clear if we get to the medial view. On the medial view, this is the posterior medial border. Now to understand it more clearly, I will show you these borders on the articulated skull. Now in the lateral view, this is the interior superior border and this is the posterior superior border. This is the interior inferior border and this is the posterior inferior border. Now if we get to the orbital view, then this is the posterior medial border. Next is the side determination of the zygomatic bone. For the side determination, you have to remember three main points. First is related to the frontal process. This frontal process is thick compared to the temporal process and it should be directed upward. Next point is related to the outer surface. The outer surface is convex and it should be directed outward. Third point is related to the interior superior border. This border is concave in nature and it should be directed interior and superiorly. Now so if you look from the interior view, then it is clear that it is the left zygomatic bone. Now looking at the right zygomatic bone, making the frontal process upward, the outer convex surface outward and the interior superior concave border on the interior and superior side. So this is the right zygomatic bone. Now let's come to the bony landmarks of the zygomatic bone. For that we will take the left zygomatic bone as a representative. We will start our discussion with the surfaces. The first one is the outer surface also called as the lateral surface and facial surface. And this lateral surface form the prominence of the cheek. On the lateral surface is present foramina called the zygomaticofacial foramina. The name tells us everything about the foramina. Zygomatic mean it is present on the zygomatic bone. Facial mean it is present on the facial surface. Next is the orbital surface. In complete skull model, this is the orbital surface. While in individual bone, this is the orbital surface. The orbital surface is smooth and concave in nature. And the orbital surface form the floor and the lateral wall of the bony orbit. As you can see, on the orbital surface, below the orbital margin, a foramen is present called the zygomatico orbital foramen. Zygomatic mean it is present on the zygomatic bone and the orbital mean it is present on the orbital surface. This foramen is actually a canal and it lead to two more openings on the other side. Assume it like a Y-shaped canal. This is the zygomatico orbital foramen and one link of the canals open on the lateral surface is the zygomatico facial foramen that is this foramen that we previously discussed and the other link of the y-shaped canal opens on the posterior surface is zygomatico temporal foramen now in complete skull model this is the frontozygomaticus suture and below this on the orbital surface a tubercle is present called the zygomatic tubercle also called as the Whitnell tubercle. This tubercle is important because important structures of the eye are attached to this tubercle. 
नेक्स्ट इज द पोस्टीरियर सर्फेस दिस होल इज द पोस्टीरियर सर्फेस ऑल्सो कॉल इज द टेम्पोरल सर्फेस सिंस दिस इज द मीडियल व्यू सो दिस विल बी द इंटीरियर साइड एंड दिस विल बी द पोस्टीरियर साइड द पोस्टीरियर सर्फेस इज डिवाइडेड इंटू टू पार्ट्स द इंटीरियर पार्ट विच इज रफ एंड द पोस्टीरियर पार्ट विच इज स्मूथ एंड कनकेव इन नेचर दिस इंटीरियर रफ पार्ट विल आर्टिकुलेट विद द मेगजिला बोन दिस इज ऑलमोस्ट द मीडियल व्यू ऑफ द जाइगोमेटिक बोन एंड एज यू कैन सी द इंटीरियर रफ पार्ट इज अटैच टू द मेगजिला बोन नेक्स्ट इज द पोस्टीरियर स्मूथ पार्ट द पोस्टीरियर पार्ट इज स्मूथ एंड कनकेव इन नेचर एंड ऑन द पोस्टीरियर पार्ट अ फोरामिन इज प्रेजेंट कॉल्ड द जाइगोमेटिक और टेम्पोरल फोरामिन जाइगोमेटिक मीन इट इज प्रेजेंट ऑन द जाइगोमेटिक बोन एंड टेम्पोरल मीन इट इज प्रेजेंट ऑन द टेम्पोरल सर्फेस नाउ वी केम टू द थ्री प्रोसेस ऑफ द जाइगोमेटिक बोन फर्स्ट वन इज द फ्रंटल प्रोसेस द फ्रंटल प्रोसेस इज डायरेक्टेड अपवर्ड एंड दिस इज अ थिक प्रोमिनेंट प्रोसेस अबव द फ्रंटल प्रोसेस आर्टिकुलेट विद द जाइगोमेटिक प्रोसेस ऑफ द फ्रंटल बोन एंड दिस सूचर बिटवीन द फ्रंटल बोन एंड द जाइगोमेटिक बोन इज कॉल्ड द फ्रंटो जाइगोमेटिक सूचर नेक्स्ट इज द टेम्पोरल प्रोसेस दिस प्रोसेस इज थिन कंपेयर टू द फ्रंटल प्रोसेस एंड इज डायरेक्टेड पोस्टीरियरली एज यू कैन सी दिस इज द पोस्टीरियर साइड एंड इट आर्टिकुलेट विद द जाइगोमेटिक प्रोसेस ऑफ द टेम्पोरल बोन टूगेदर द टेम्पोरल प्रोसेस ऑफ द जाइगोमेटिक बोन एंड द जाइगोमेटिक प्रोसेस ऑफ द टेम्पोरल बोन विल कंप्लीट द जाइगोमेटिक आर्च दिस होल इज द जाइगोमेटिक आर्च नेक्स्ट इज द मेगजिलरी प्रोसेस This is the maxillary process. The inferior margin of this process articulate with the maxilla bone. And posteriorly it is continuous with the orbital surface of the zygomatic bone. Next is the five borders of the zygomatic bone. The first one is the anterior superior border. In complete skull model this is the anterior superior border and it form the floor and the lateral wall of the orbital rim. Next is the anterior inferior border. This is the anterior inferior border, and it articulate with the maxilla bone. The third one is the posterior superior border. This border resemble the Italian letter F in shape. Above, it is continuous with the posterior border of the zygomatic process of frontal bone, and posteriorly, this border is continuous with the upper border of the zygomatic arch. Now just below the frontal zygomatic suture there is present a tubercle on the posterior border called the marginal tubercle next is the posterior inferior border this border is rough in nature because it provide origin to the master muscle this is the posterior inferior border and this is the master muscle originating from the posterior inferior border posteriorly This border is continuous with the lower border of the zygomatic arch. The last one is the posterior medial border. This hole is the posterior medial border. We divide the posterior medial border into two parts, the upper part and the lower part, and a small gap between the two parts. The upper part articulate with the greater wing of the sphenoid bone. In complete skull model, this is the upper part of the posterior medial border and as you can see it is attached to the greater ring of the sphenoid bone next is the lower part of the posterior medial border and the lower part articulate with the maxilla bone again this is the lower part of the posterior medial border and it articulate with the maxilla bone and the small space between the upper and the lower part will contribute to the later border of the inferior orbital fissure as you can see this is the inferior orbital fissure and this later border of the inferior orbital fissure is contributed by this small gap so in short the zygomatic bone is attached to four bones above it is attached to the frontal bone posteriorly it is attached to the temporal bone anteriorly it is attached to the maxilla bone and medially it is attached to the sphenoid bone That's all about the zygomatic bone. Thank you.